Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your October messages from the spirit reading. This will be for October 2022 for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everyone. Just take what resonates for you as always Scorpio. So let's see what we have for you for the month of October. And yes, these readings can resonate from the time I release them. So we have memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in spirit, for neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. That is your first message. Let's see what energy is around you for October 2022. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Message for Scorpio, thank you. Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message for Scorpio for October 2022? Thank you. We have Patience, number 16. Let's read that out. We have peaceful presence, letting go of desperation. This card shows a beautiful angel holding a clock in the stillness of winter. Her quiet, peaceful energy is telling you that it's time to release the old urgency and to look at things with a much clearer perspective. When this card is upright, it's telling you to relax and let go of the single-minded desperation that's been driving you. Don't try to force your will on only one option. When you think there's only one solution to satisfy your need or to make you happy, you are blocking many of the potential solutions from coming your way. Let go of the anxiety and be flexible. Be patient, be open and creative. Choose to be peaceful in the present. The universe has more options than you may be aware of. Quiet your mind, broaden your perspective and let them come through. Okay, let's pull you a crystal angel message. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. Angels, what is the message for Scorpio? Thank you, that flipped over. We have Tanzanite, ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what spirit animal we have for you for October 2022. What spirit animal do we have for Scorpio for October 2022? Thank you. Message for Scorpio. Thank you. That flew out. We have the Manate Dugong. Accept the situation as, as it is rather than fighting to change it. might be some advice there let's pull some cards and see what we have for you scorpio remember these readings won't be for everyone take what resonates for you as always so let's see what your overarching energy is overarching message from spirit what spirit is highlighting what do we have for scorpio please i'm going to choose these cards because they're a little bit large this is the druid tarot deck Okay, we have strength. Yeah, strength to face things that are difficult to face here. The Three of Swords. Four of Wands. Seven of Cups. Some of these cards are very similar to, to Pisces. It's not unusual of signs of the same element to have similar energies, so there are always nuances that are different. We have the Prince of Wands. Princess of Swords. 
And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands. I think the Queen of Wands energy has been in every, every water sign this month. Um, I, I mean, this Queen of Wands could actually be you because it can be Mars energy for me as a reader. Somebody who's not afraid to take control, very courageous. It can be an energy of, of strength, courage. You know, she's a warrior queen. So sometimes, you know, she'll move forward where others fear to tread. You know, it's that kind of energy. It it feels like you're you're taking action here, Scorpio. Because you want more. A feeling of you you want more in life you want to be fulfilled appreciated have the experience of of being fulfilled and appreciated and i feel this is in terms of love romance relationships and you've been i feel that there's been energy if somebody has hurt you let's see what this strength is why is someone needing strength here angel spirits guides why does Scorpio need strength? Why does Scorpio need strength? What is the message with that strength card? We have the Three of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Taking stock, evaluating in whether you rebuild oh thank you we have the emperor and the ten of pentacles this feels like somebody has been taking stock, evaluating on giving somebody what they deserve and they're ready to take action. Clarify that Prince of Wands because this feels like it's linked to long-term stability and security, marriage, long-term committed relationships, putting down roots in terms of love, romance, relationships. It could well be with this ready to love again, somebody has been resistant because they were hurt before. They this three of swords energy. It's it's interesting. I. What I'm getting with this Scorpio, this is this is somebody who was made a player by an experience in the past. Three of swords energy, can be heartbreak, painful truths, emotional pain third party situations but somebody yeah the, the knight of swords can be a player a lot of the time in relationships somebody who doesn't want to commit somebody who likes to play the game somebody who likes to you know not be committal you know move with their own passions and desires can be a runner you know somebody who runs away from commitment because the past created them that way but this is the the more mature aspect of somebody who is ready to take action, ready to take control because they're facing their own demons, I feel. Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability and security. What does that Ten of Pentacles stand for, please? It feels like relationships. They're ready to commit. Yeah, King of Cups, offer love hearts opening up yeah the page of cups an offer and um, a message a loving message the four of cup four of four of wands a feeling of of celebrations joy happiness the the four of wands is four corners of stability and security um celebrations can be marriage engagements uh can be pregnancy as well uh, celebrations of you know new additions to the family can also be to do with you know buying a home together moving in together 
somebody has been resistant to move forward because and they they were they were a runner they were a player they they didn't want to do the right thing because they were hurt before in some way and that has been the fundamental issue i don't know if this is you it could be somebody who you're connecting to that i'm picking up on but they're really taking stock now and reevaluating what they have been um their behavior because this is somebody who is kind of realizing that they're ready for this. This is communication to do with, you know, uh, celebration, joy, happiness, buying a home together, moving in together, having a family or extending a family, you know, um, marriage proposals, engagements. It feels like they've just been going through this whole soul searching energy. And there's a feeling of patience being applied here. This feeling of uh, considering alternative options from what they've wanted to pursue before and what they've been defensive about pursuing. And they're, they want to build something solid and stable and secure with you now. Where And that's what they've been evaluating, whereas they haven't been before. They've been evaluating how to move forward, how, you know... Um, looking at their future and how things are going to unfold here and doing the right thing, taking charge, taking control, doing the right thing. Clarify that Four of Wands and the Princess of Swords. Let's see what that's about. I've kind of already spoken about that. Yeah, the Ace of Cups, an offer of love. Yeah, this is the heart is open. Their heart is open. Yeah, I'm getting they were hurt. Something, some experience of the past made them a player, made them uh, non-committal made them wanting to be that kind of you know don't tie me down I don't want to be tied down you know this this fat kind of energy and I don't know if it's like it was deliberate but it feels like fear drove that in some way fear of opening themselves up to that again but they are they're opening themselves up to that again now nine of pentacles giving you what you deserve I feel Seven of Cups, a choice, a decision needs to make, but it's linked with hopes, dreams and wishes and being really hopeful and positive about the future in manifesting, manifesting dreams, wishes and taking action. Again, this Queen of Wands can be male or female. But it feels like someone's ready to take action. Someone's ready to take control, move forward. The Eight of Swords on something that they haven't been wanting to move forward on before. Queen of Wands, yeah. Clarify that Seven of Cups, please. Yeah, the Page of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, ready to take action through a new door. This is a feeling of... Uh, A feeling of, of planting or being ready to tentatively take steps because there's a feeling of getting the information that you need, getting the clarity that you need, having gone through some kind of taking stock, evaluating. I'm saying you, but it could be the person who's connected to you and ready to take action, plant new seeds for the future. Two of Wands, ready to make that choice, a step into the unknown. Moving past their comfort zone and familiarity and what they're comfortable with because they're ready they're ready the world taking things to the next level it feels like deepening commitment to relationship taking things to the next level yeah i mean this is lovely they're ready to they're ready to open their heart again I and mean, this is either you or the person that's connected to you here it feels like a relationship but it does feel that things start progressing and maybe even some kind of important conversation is happening in october where there's real celebration and joy and a new beginning unfolds if this is you wondering whether to take things to the next level, Spirit is strongly advising that you open your heart and take action through a new door here as advice. Again, free will, but that's that's what I see here as this choice and decision because you won't regret it. That's what Spirit is telling you. I feel this is an energy of uh, the manatee. I feel this is a feeling of fighting all ghosts. 
somebody has been fighting memories, somebody has been fighting old ghosts here, but I feel that they're moving forward in spite of that now, that the past isn't holding them back any longer where it was in the past. It's a, it's a really lovely reading. It might have been a little bit frustrating for you, Scorpio, this was you waiting for somebody to do that, but I, I feel the situation created them to act in this way beforehand. Okay, let's pull an angel message for you. What do we have for Scorpio? When you live in the moment, you will discover delight in simple things. Isn't that lovely? Not living in the past. So we have someone's ready to live in the moment, the present, move forward. Let's pull you a number. And again, this number might mean something to you. This is an angel number message. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Message for Scorpio. 222. Your thoughts, wishes and dreams can be manifested. Your mind is fertile ground to grow the highest results you wish to see in your life. Okay, Scorpio, let's pull you a final message from Spirit. What do we have as a final message for Scorpio? Final message for Scorpio. Someone's finding the strength to face, to face things that have been difficult to face. And I feel it's like old ghosts, past experiences, you know, old scars, old demons, you know, old, old patterns of behavior but they're better for it as a result of that. The heart, and the heart opens up. And that would be advice for you as well if, if that resonates. We have Peacock Self-Love. Time to celebrate you and all your magnificent light. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Scorpio, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful October. I will see you next time.